It's the one we've been waiting for all season. The game is finally on the simulator. Ohio State at Michigan in frosty Ann Arbor. Everything at stake in the Big Ten East and college football playoff. This one's so important that I had to up the quarter length to nine minutes. It's that important. Before we begin, I want to show you this nice little loading screen that came up before the game. And take a look at that series record. This video game dropped on July 17, 2007. A lot has changed since then. None of those past games matter though because it's all about this one and Ohio State starts it off effectively on the ground. First Travion Henderson up the middle, then Mayan Williams picks up a first down, and then Ryan Day gives us the wrinkle he's shown the past couple of weeks with Garrett Wilson on the jet sweep. This time it's Jackson Smith and Jigba breaking a tackle, going down the sideline for a 41-yard touchdown. They're not going to give him the Bolitnikov, so he might as well go after the Doak Walker, I guess. And yes, I'm well aware that he wears number 11. I promise that you don't have to tell me in the comments. Anyway, Ohio State gets off to the early 7-0 lead, and then Michigan has a pretty strong response on their first drive, but ultimately they have to settle for a 50-yard field goal, which brings me to something that I have never seen in all my years playing NCAA 07 or 08, and that is the computer missing a field goal. Not only that, it goes right off of the crossbar and Ohio State catches a break. The Buckeyes end up punting on that drive, but on the next Michigan possession, they don't have to worry about kicking or really anything at all because Hassan Haskins is taking care of all of it. Breaks a couple of tackles, spins away from Ronnie Hickman, and goes right up the middle for 86 yards, and just like that, we're tied at 7. And while Ohio State's offense is struggling to sustain any sort of drive, Michigan's is having a lot of success both on the ground here with Haskins again and through the air. McNamara is feeling it a little bit, throws in the double coverage there. Then he hits Eric All for a first down inside the 30. But just as it looks like they're going to take the lead, Haskell Garrett blows up the rest of the drive by himself, first on that direct snap, and then on the very next play, forces Michigan to punt with a sack. Uh, am I the only one who noticed that J.J. McCarthy was in for that third down? Virtual Jim Harbaugh didn't learn his lesson after the Michigan State game, I guess. Then we cut to a play that just epitomizes everything that I love about the simulator and how insane it is. I could break down this play for about five to six minutes from McNamara stepping up into the pocket, making this throw, to that being ruled a catch and fumble, to the ball pinballing around like that, Ohio State recovering, and then McNamara making the tackle. If I sold this play as an NFT, how much could I make? Probably a lot more than this play, where Ohio State tries to take advantage of the Michigan turnover by giving the keys to the offense back to Urban Meyer, who calls the patented quarterback draw right up the middle and damn near gets C.J. Stroud's head taken off. Thankfully, Ryan Day takes back over on the next drive, and with just over a minute left in the half, Travion Henderson introduces himself to the rivalry with this 35-yard touchdown. Ohio State freshman running back breaks a tackle for a long touchdown run against Michigan to give him a 14-7 lead. I can't shake the feeling that I've seen that before. Anyway, 14-7 Buckeyes at half, and while I'm on the subject of things that I've seen before, this game is actually following pretty closely to the script we've seen from the last two real-life Ohio State-Michigan games. Buckeyes lead at halftime, Michigan hanging in there, and as the third quarter starts, a couple of just back-breaking plays that completely blow the game open and make this a blowout. First, it's Garrett Wilson on the punt return. He's like Jackson Smith and Jigbo from earlier. You're not going to give him the Bolitnikoff award? Okay, he'll just score on you another way. He takes this punt back to the house, stunts a little bit afterwards. It's 21-7, to and you can just tell that everything's coming up, Buckeyes, because on their next drive, Stroud drops back to pass, the ball gets tipped up into the air. Smith and Jigba catches it, outraces every Michigan defender for his second touchdown of the game. See, this is why they're not Bolitnikov finalists, guys. They need defenders' help to make plays like this. They're clearly not that good. Those are the last points scored by either team as the rest of the third quarter and early fourth just evolves into what we saw from like week two and week three of the simulator where it's nothing but interceptions, nothing but insane turnovers. McNamara and Stroud are just... These are one drive after the next. They're just trading back and forth. Ohio State gets the ball inside the 25. Stroud throws an end zone pick. And on some level, it was just heartwarming to see that the simulator can still play the hits when it wants to. Also, here's angry virtual Jim Harbaugh slash actually Lloyd Carr, if that's something you're interested in. But all of those Ohio State turnovers give Michigan a bit of a lifeline early into the fourth quarter. They're still in this one. They still have a chance. But when they're inside the 10-yard line, Denzel Burke picks off this pass because the ghost of Tyvis Powell still lives in the Michigan Stadium end zone. Wow, back-to-back -back weeks with a Tyvis Powell reference here on the simulator videos. Shout out to you, Tyvis. 
And why not throw in one more interception for the road? The fourth of the game for the Ohio State defense. This time it's Cody Simon and Michigan fans leaving the stadium the same way they've left this game for most of the last 20 years. With a loss and probably very mad online. Hope you guys enjoyed today's edition of The Simulator. I'll be back next week if Ohio State wins in real life and gets to the Big Ten Championship game. In the meantime, follow me on Twitter at Dubsco, visit twostripecpd.com, and please, for the love of God, subscribe to the channel.